This is Andy with Quality Stocks. Today is Wednesday, June 2nd, 2010, and we're going to take a look at E-Doorways. It's a pink sheet stock trading under the ticker EDWY. See if the candle's pretty nice downtrend that it's been in. A couple things we always look for in reversals. Touch on this all the time. Looking for positive divergence with indicators. MACD is a, is a good source for positive divergence for long-term reversals. See MACD been a nice uptrend lately while the PPS has been trending down. You want to see that break. People call zero of the money line. You want to see that break of the money line. You want to see this trend hold. You want to see this MACD break through the break through zero, i.e. the money line. Take a quick look back at pinches. You can see that I always talk about referencing historic pinches and how they perform. I'm about a double off that one from high to low. This is in a second pinch. Um, never really lined up exactly how you'd want to see it, so it's, it's not as reliable as you see here with the PPO and ADX actually getting a little closer together. Um, but still not bad, a little bit longer term of one. You can see it's already come off a bottom of 20 up to a high of uh, 0036. So it's had pretty nice gains already. We're looking at a couple different things here, though. MFI is in pretty nice position. I want to see that 21 keep this up, trying to start and try and curl down a little bit. That's because of black candles for the most part. Black candle means that it simply it closed up for the day, but it clo or closed down for the day, but it closed higher than the previous day. Accumulation distribution, giving hints of trying to turn again. Shaking money flow still down low again. That I'm not real sure what went on with the buying and selling. Full stow in a good position. I like this trick trying to make a turn right here. We want to see this this whole thing start to try and turn around. If it's going to make a bottom, we want to say that these indicators are bottoming. We want to see them turn now and start to head north. What I'm really looking for here, of course, uh, we'll take you know, touch on the RSIs, both in a nice position. Getting a little bit of separation. We want to see that get caught back up some. Um, still, it's not it's not that great. It still could have a really nice day in it, um, but it's still it's, they're going to want to try and retract a little bit and get closer together again. Primarily, what I'm looking for with the doorways. This is a six month chart. Put a trend line right through there. That's the downtrend line. I want to see fall. I want to see this make its way up. You can also see if that coincides with. That's at this point. You know the charts are dynamic. So trend lines and, and support and resistance lines are going to intersect at some points and be a better fo better source of resistance or support. Right now it's right about at that point. We can see right here through this uh, 0045 all the way up to, this is probably around 006. That area is going to be resistance right now, right through there. We want to see that area fall first and foremost with this 0045. We want to see a push through that, which is also coinciding right now with that trend line. So as this as this chart you know swings out a little bit farther, um, the resistance will still be there, but they won't meet at the same points, which is you know, going to make it a little bit less resistance. Right now it'll be a strong resistance due to trend line and PPS. So we want to see what this is going to do ultimately. Right now we want to see it hold 0025. It's got a bottom support here at 002, but if this is going to try and reverse. We want to see it try and make a new high or low. So if it wants to turn, come down and bounce, and then make another move back up, we want that bounce point to come off 0025. That'd be a good buy point, good source, a good source of support. You can see it make a turn if you're going to trade technicals. That's a good, you know, buy on support is a great rule. So we want to see it make a new high or low and make a turn. Right now we want to see volume still stay pretty strong. I mean, it's, it's died off a little bit, but it's still not doing terrible with 2.5 million shares traded. I want to see that pick up a little bit if it's going to try and take out, take out trend line and uh, and resistance. It'll probably have to pick up some in order to make that happen. Most importantly, though, is what I want to see is this support hold. If it comes down, like I say, that's a great area of support. I want to see it come back up. That will show that E-Doorway has possibly found a true bottom and is ready to start reversing and make its way north from there forward. This is Andy with Quality Stocks taking a look at EDWY.